Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the UB key to your iOS and Android devices. Well, in previous video, I demonstrated about how to set up and use the UB key 5 NFC from your computer to create an extra layer of security to your online accounts and the personal information. But this time, I'll show you how to do the same thing just from your iPhone and Android devices. So let's get started with the video. So here first, I will show you how to set up the YubiKey 5 NFC to your online platform to create a pro level of security where the physical key will be required to log into your account. And secondly, I'll show you how to get the two-factor authentication or the OTP using the Authenticator application. Well, so now to save this up, here I have my iPhone, but if you are Android users, go ahead and follow me because the process is quite similar. So the first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Facebook. And here I logged in with my Facebook account. So the first thing that you gotta do, just go ahead and tap on this menu button at the bottom right over here. And from here, you need to scroll down and you'll get the settings and privacy. Just go ahead and tap on that and then tap on settings. Once you're here inside the settings, the next thing that you gotta do, is just go ahead and scroll down a little bit from here. You'll get the security and the login option just go ahead and tap on this again and from the security and login you need to scroll down again and you'll get the two-factor authentication now just go ahead and tap on this one and here you'll get a few different options so the reason why we're just going to set up a physical key is the last option called security key so we need to select this option and then go ahead and tap on continue and once you do that it will take you to a browser and from here it is asking to register your security key now you just go ahead and tap on register security key and you'll get a prompt with two different options so we need to select the security key the second one and then go ahead and tap on continue and once you do that you'll get a prompt to set up your security key with the facebook.com so here you can set up your security key by inserting the physical key directly to your iphone and also if your device does support the nfc feature then you can follow this process as well if you want to insert the physical key directly to your smartphone but if it doesn't match with your port then you can easily use this converter or you can buy a different key that's similar to the port of your device but here I'm going to use the NFC feature but if you want to use that one as well make sure your device does support the NFC feature and your device is running iOS 13 or later. So once you get this prompt just go ahead and take your physical key and then keep it at the top of your device and once you do that the physical key will be set up with your account. So here's the important things that you need to keep in mind is go ahead and scroll down and tap on the recovery code and it will ask you for the password so just go ahead and insert the password of your account and once you do that you'll get to see some of the recovery code has been given on the screen you can take a screenshot or you can copy the code and keep it somewhere else that you can still log into your account if your physical key has been lost or broken so once you're done from now on every time you log into your account you cannot log in without using this physical key well in the next segment i'm going to go ahead and show you how to get the six digit verification code using the authenticator application on a device so here i have my instagram account and i'm going to go ahead and set it up with this account. So now to do that first thing first is go ahead and open up the Instagram account on your device and here I am. So the next things that you have to do go ahead and tap on this profile icon at the bottom and then tap on this three dot icon and then tap on settings and you'll get the security right over here. Just go ahead and tap on that and you'll get two factor authentication. You need to tap on that over here and once you're done go ahead and tap on get started and you'll get a three different option right over here. So the reason why we're just going to enable the authentication app so it's just going to select this option and we're just going to turn this option on and once you are here in this page you need to select set up another way at the bottom right over here and here you'll get some of the authentication code that you need to copy from here so i'm just going to tap on copy key and the code has been copied and once you do that the next things that you have to do you need to install a authenticator application for this specific physical key so now to do that i'm getting back from here and then open the app store but if you are an android user go to the Play Store and search for Ubico Authenticator. And once you search for it, you'll get to see the Ubico Authenticator application. I already installed on my device. You just go ahead and install the device and then just go ahead and tap and open. Now here you can directly insert the physical key to your device or you can use the NFC feature as well. So the first thing first you gotta do is you need to add your Instagram account right over here. Now to do that, you need to tap on this three dot icon right over here and then tap on add account and then select intermanually from here 
here and you'll get to see different options. So from here, you need to be careful. So the first option, I'm just going to tap on user. And the reason why I'm just creating this account for my Instagram account. So I'm just going to type Instagram. And next, you need to enter the email account, which is associated with your Instagram account. So I'm just going to type in my email account right over here. Once you entered your email account, the next things that you got to do, just go ahead and come to this secret section right over here. Paste the code that you have copied from the Instagram account authentication option. So now I'm just going to tap and hold this option and I'm going to paste the code that I copied. And once you're done, you can turn on this option if you want to directly insert the physical key to your device. So I'm not going to turn on this option. And once you're done with all of the settings, the next things that you have to do, just go ahead and tap on save. And once you do that, it will record the physical key and put this key at the top of your device. So I need to go ahead and put like this and you'll get the verification code right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the code from here and I'm just going to get back to my Instagram account. And from here, you need to tap on next and paste the code that I have copied from there. And once you do that, go ahead and tap on next again. And here's you can see the two factor authentication is on. So now let's go ahead and tap on next. And also you'll get some of the backup codes. You need to keep it in a safe place. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tap on done from here. And now you're all set. So once you're done, every time it's just going to log into your account, this six digit verification code will be required, which will be generated on this specific application. And you can get this code just by using this physical key. So guys, here are the two different easy way to set up and use the YubiKey 5 NFC to your iOS and Android devices. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Or if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.